The Carson Newman Eagles have a stable of young coaches. Running backs coach Nick Bravez, quarterbacks coach Alex Good, assistant defensive line coach Zach Fleming, and wide receivers coach Derek Rang are all in their first season. Safeties coach and special teams coordinator Dino Waits is in his fourth season in Mossy Creek after graduating in 2009. Each coach has a different story for the beginning of their coaching career. Revez was a three-time academic All-SEC selection at the University of Tennessee and spent time selling insurance at his father's business before a speech from a former NFL head coach inspired him to pick up the phone. I went to the FCA banquet last November um, with my wife, Brittany, and uh, we went and we heard Dan Reeves speak. And he gave his testimony. And um, growing up, I always thought coaching, quite honestly, was for people who didn't get their high playing, you know and we're trying to relive the game. And so, but I heard his testimony, how he, um, the impact that players had on his life and the impact for Christ that he had on the players' lives. And that's when I really thought about, wow, maybe coaching something that I want to do. Maybe that's something that the Lord's calling me to do. So me and Brittany started praying about it. And long story short, we reached out to Coach Sparks. He invited me up here and sat in on a couple staff meetings last January. And me and Brittany prayed about it and felt like this is exactly where we were supposed to be. And uh, so this is where we are. And um, I couldn't be uh, any happier. While Fleming, Good, and Waits played for the Eagles, Rang has had a lot to learn after spending last season as the head coach at Powell High School. Going from you know teaching three math classes a day and, and kind of running a high school program to you know going to a very successful uh, Division II program that's you know won a lot of football games and has a strong tradition and a strong you know Christian culture. So uh, I guess from the football side of it, it is a little bit different. You know you're dealing with a lot more mature you know. Uh, a lot better athletes uh, on the football field, and uh, college football has its own set of issues, but uh, you know it is quite a bit different, but I'm learning and trying to do the best job I can here at Carson Newman. Ask any of the young coaches what is the one thing that surprised them the most about coaching, and they will respond simply with preparation. Waits is in charge of the team's equipment and speaks to the endless hours of shining helmets on top of his daily routine. As a player, I thought I was doing a lot for football. And then I became a coach, and I was like, oh, I'm not doing anything as a player. <laughs> so it's like you realize as a, as, a, as a coach, I mean, you're here before the players get here, and you're here after they leave. Um, but that's all a part of it, and that's, you understand, I understand it now. The reason why as a player everything worked so good for us was because we had coaches here that were doing stuff before we got here, and then after we left, they were still doing stuff to get ready. So... Uh, that's part of the biggest eye-opener, I guess, growing thing for me as a coach. Fleming is currently coaching several of his teammates from one year ago. It has been a great asset for the players to come to him and express what is happening on the field. The same can be said for the balance of the youth and veteran leadership on the coaching staff. It's a good support system because they kind of are in the same, we're all in the same boat trying to figure this thing out and, and how to do it to the best of our abilities. And then we've got a great old, I guess, older group to, to look to and learn from. And so it's this great, uh, I guess, a great, a great balance of great minds teaching us and then young, young minds with all these with new ideas and energy trying to bounce those off and figure out what's good and what's not. And it's just a great support system and learning environment. Put aside the aspirations of the coaches in terms of job status, and there is a common theme between the group. Revez said that he is blessed to have the talent at running back and has worked hard to gain the trust of his players. The biggest thing I want to be able to do is relate with them, and uh, and hopefully they they do respect me as just as far as being a coach that they'll listen. Um, but I know something just from being a player that respect sometimes it's not always just given; it has to be earned. So uh, and and a big thing I believe in in relationships, just period in life, whether it's in football or outside of football, is you got to show someone that you care about them before you can speak a hard word to towards them or to them, um, and something that'll make them better, but might just be a little bit hard. So the biggest thing I want my guys to know and anyone is that I care about them and that I, I genuinely, genuinely have their best interest in mind, whether I'm praising them or whether I'm trying to tell them something to do better. So that's the biggest thing I hope they understand is that I care about them. A couple weeks ago, Ken Sparks called Waits one of the highest level individuals he has ever been around. His response to his ultimate goal as a coach demonstrates that praise. I don't really have, you know, like a goal to be the next head coach here or where, there, wherever, you know. I just want to be the best coach that God wants me to be. And um, with that being said, I know that it has to be, I have to be making some kind of eternal impact on my players. And so that's where I really measure my coaching ability off of, 
is uh, am I affecting these players that is going to have some kind of lasting effect? And so uh, that's really the biggest thing that I focus on probably. That's my biggest goal. And so as long as I'm doing that, I can be at the middle school. I can be at the big time, what everybody call it the big time. I'm always in the big time because that's what I'm looking to do. Good believes that he needs to express to his players about life after football. It has been an important theme since his playing days and one that he continues to strive to reach. The most important thing is to have a relationship with Christ and, and just to know that when football is done, the only thing that you're going to be able to hold on to is a relationship with God. And then I think when they get that, they'll become more than just good football players. And that's something that I try to teach the young quarterbacks here, you know, um, just try to still teach myself, you know, that, that this is only going to last for a short while, but relationship with God will last forever.